Hey YouTube, today's video I have the best man you know ever to ever exist, Silas Alexander, Sapphire the Great, you know, whatever you want to call it, was good. Long story short, this has been my Hey, what's this day with? Freshman year. Yup. And I value his opinion, even though he has opinions. Let me stop saying in this video. I'm, I'm going to bleep, bleep it out. Mm, nah, it's but yeah, so yeah, we about to basically talk about about like some topics that have to do with relationships yep. and we both going to give our opinion on it. It's basically going to be like girl versus boy. First question. So good. Okay. <laughs> The first question is, oh. what are some deal breakers in relationships? Like, if you're talking to somebody or you're in a relationship with somebody, what will make you not talk to them? Ooh, uh, cheating is number one. I don't care who you are. I agree with that one. Yeah, just, see, but, you know, nigga logic. Cheating, cheating number one, for me, the personal thing, don't disrespect my family. Because they, like, they, they really, you know, we all close. So mm -hmm. that ain't gonna slide. Like you disrespect my mama, you gotta go. Mm -hmm. Uh, what else is a deal breaker? Um, I mean, just don't come out ugly all the time. Let me, let me, let me wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait. There are days we can have bummy days. Like I'm having a low key bummy day right now, right? But I need to know, like every now and then, you can you know, spice it up a little bit. Now, women, you, you. We we'll want the same thing for your man. And like if I if he came in gym shorts and a t-shirt all the time, you can be like, you can't like throw on a nice little collar shirt, some little dress pants or something, some some nice shoes or something. You so you will let your man be bummy everywhere he go? You wanna be seen with that all the time? I feel like if they one of those type of people that wanna be bummy everywhere, then I'm just gonna be like, hey, like maybe you should put on some jeans. That's all I'm saying. Wait, that's all I'm saying. But it's not a deal breaker. It's not. Like I mean, it's deal. not like a deal breaker. It's a deal breaker if like you don't want to like. You know what I'm saying? Every it's a deal breaker day. if they don't want to like listen. Anyway, communication's key. So we can't talk about anything that we just don't need to talk at all. So, yeah. All right. I okay. mean, I agree with those deal breakers. Cheating is definitely a deal breaker. That's okay. like number one. Okay. Um, a deal breaker is I feel like if you curse me out. <laughs> To a certain extent, like cursing, like saying certain words, okay. But if you like calling me the B word and stuff like that, like you gotta go. Okay. And then, okay. um, if you just like extremely disrespectful, like it don't take cheating for me to leave somebody. Like if I just find you disrespectful, yeah. I'm leaving you. Like that's that. it. I get that. Really out the gate said if she looking dumb. I just say she looking dumb. I just say she, you know, look. She don't look her best. Look, you ain't gotta look your best all the time, but like every now and then, like I want, I want to show you all. Oh, Y'all want to be shown off, right? Okay. I don't want to show off. Like you don't want to show off anything, right? Like if I. So since we're saying that, if you did have a girl that uh -huh. didn't dress up, would you still show her off? I mean, is you posting her on the timeline? Yeah, like okay. Obviously, I'm gonna do it, but you know what I mean. You want to be proud of what you have but at the same time like you want like okay this is like man logic here I am about to put you up on I'm about to put y'all up on game too men want to have something that uh, makes other men say like yo I wish I had that okay right I so, mean I feel like that's true right so what Girls man, do too. right so what man or woman wants to sit there and be like yeah look at this little rag I got here I'm just, I'm just, yo, I'm keeping it a stack right now. Looks, looks aren't everything. No, no, not yet. Yeah, absolutely. Like, looks just because you out here styling and styling <coughs> and you don't cheat doesn't mean you can't get left. Because you can still right. get left. You, you, yeah. And, I mean, it's a deal breaker if we don't vibe. Like, if we just don't right, vibe. Yeah. Like, it could be nothing wrong. Nothing could be wrong with you. But if I don't like you, I don't like you. Right. Believe that, because you, you low-key shallow. How's this show? I just I, I just said low key. I said low key. Next question. What's the next one? What's the next, next question. <laughs> the next question is, what's the difference between situationships and friends with benefits? I'm gonna let you answer because we we definitely don't agree on this one. 
Now, y'all's definition of a situation may be different from mine, but I feel like situationships and friends with benefits are the same thing. Minus the fact that with friends with benefits, you were friends before the situation. And plus, I feel like with friends with benefits, like, if you are friends, then you already have that relationship. Plus, y'all adding the sex. Versus if you a situationship, then y'all building that relationship and y'all having sex. So, essentially, I feel like it's the same thing. No. No, I'm going to just, no. The friends with benefits part, we get that. Like, we were friends before... But friends who had sex now, cool. But like a situationship to me is like you doing everything a relationship is, but you don't have a title. And like, you, but are you, you can, talking to other people too? I mean, yeah, you could. See, I don't feel like that's a the situation. Then I just feel I like mean, you, you just this. No, you was done. I'm done. You, you just fed me away. Like the next, the next one <laughs> is. Oh my god. Uh, Hello? Uh, is this Hello? Not? Hey. Hey, what are you doing? What's considered cheating? Okay, so talking to somebody else on that level, that's my moment. Okay. Kissing somebody else, having sex with somebody else, emotional or not. Okay. Going on dates with somebody else. Okay, all right, wait. If somebody wait, else wait. is buying... When, when you say going on dates with somebody else, like define the date, because if you and just one other person I mean, going somewhere, like okay, if I'm a dude and I have a girlfriend mm -hmm. and I invite like I don't know like my coworker or something with me somewhere and I'm paying for her food and it's only us. I mean, okay, look. Now, if y'all just happen to go to the same place. And you like that type of person that pay for all the girls' food. That's one thing, cause that's how my dad is. Right, I was gonna say like but, when I got it. Usually I don't got it, but when I got it, I, you know, I look out for whoever you know. If it's a little girl, whoever, it ain't got to be yeah. like I'm trying to get it. Just yeah, but if I feel like if you got planning <laughs> and scheming for it to just be y'all two, okay. and y'all going to the same place together, and it's just y'all having an intimate conversation and stuff like that. That's cheating because if I was to roll up and see y'all together, I don't feel like you cheat. Okay. Fair enough. Even for me, it's kind of most of that stuff. Like said, obviously, like sex is definitely cheating. Kissing someone, I say it's cheating. Um, if you hugging, I'm um, just playing. See, you're doing too much now. <laughs> you, it depends. I mean, but it, like hug, like, okay, hugs. Like it depends on how the hug is. Like if I'm just like, hey, for, like, like if you okay. like, if your course, if you but like, you can't be holding each other for like, yeah, like if your hours, hands, like, if your hands make your way to somebody's butt, like, what is you doing? Even even like the whole talking thing, I'm kind of okay somewhat with it. I don't know how to really, like put that. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm okay, okay with it as long as like like depending on what y'all talking about. It depends on what y'all talking about, and it's like I feel like if you in a relationship with somebody, you can't just be texting your male. Like if you got like like me, like I have a couple of male friends, but I'm not texting them every day, morning, noon, and night. Like right. good morning, what you doing? What you eating? What's going on? No, because I, mean, I feel like I'm gonna do that with my boyfriend. I mean, if you gonna be friends <laughs> straight up. Uh, like you gotta watch what y'all say, what y'all talk about. Uh, cause even like yes. joking about, cause I've seen situations where people like will be joking about something, and then like the significant other will see it and be like, "Yo, like, what y'all got going on for real?" As a girl, mm -hmm. well, girl versus boy, like who comes at who? Like, is it okay for a girl to come at a boy? Yes. I yes. feel like. Yes. Look. look. Me personally. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Speak me personally. I'm not coming at no dude. And that's just how it is, like, with me. I don't look down on nobody that does it. But, like, I'm not approaching no guy because I feel like <coughs> the guy should approach you. And that's just it. Especially if he calls himself liking you so much, telling all your friends that he want to talk to you. But he expects you to come at him. Like, no, you need to come at me. Y'all do the same thing. Y'all will sit there and be like, I like him, but I'm not going to approach him. He need to approach me. I'm going to tell you a situation that happened with me. Okay, let us know. If you sit there and you like me and you don't, and you tell all these other people except the one person you like, I don't know you exist. 
I don't know. I don't know nothing about you. I don't know you exist. None of that. Why My can girl? you not just say yo like yo? I can still chase. You're a guy. I can still chase, but you gotta let me know. That's what I'm saying. But you can't expect me girl? to just be like yo. Yeah, oh yeah, he gonna he gonna want to talk to me once he see me. No. Stop. Mm -hmm. I've had plenty of people be like yo, such and such, like such and such, or so and so be like yo. Uh, this girl was asking about you. That girl asked about you. I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. who we talking about? But I can't tell you all that. I'm like, no, like all those side. Like, like, you no. need to tell me. Like, yeah, like what's good? Like, if you tell me, I might can go talk yeah, to that him. They be lot. like, no, they they be like, he's like, I can put you down. No, 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 I'm too. I don't want to holler at him. Why not? I'm not a bad guy. <laughs> Slide into his DMs. Because I mean, hey, he's not a bad guy. I'm not. I'm a wholesome young man. <laughs> with these guys on LSU's campus like no, if y'all just oh, if y'all want to talk so bad y'all I mean I'm in a relationship now but I was single for the longest time and like all these mystery people wanted to talk to me but nobody ever came for it I'm not coming at y'all no but I'm like honest, it's just you, not happening you, you low-key look like you turn somebody down like as soon as they walk up to you <laughs> Like if, if, but I feel like that's just like that's very judgmental because y'all don't know. Not judgmental, like it's the, look. I know you, and I'm saying that you, you need to just me. take your L because no. nobody. That's like guys who wants like, to take an L. Oh, I'm trying so hard. This girl doesn't like me. The girl doesn't have to like you because no, you're trying. Because right. that person can be the person God sent for you or whoever. Like I don't see, know. I feel like if they whoever God sent, it, it's you. gonna happen. You sure about that? Because if they God sent, I ain't gonna get religious or nothing on him. But like you. He gave free will for a reason, so he can throw somebody your way, but it's That's up to you true. whether you decide if you want to holler at him or not. Decide, alright, after getting to know you, I really don't like you. Cool. But like, but that's the thing. Yeah. But girls could do that, and guys still get back. Cause then, then the guy be like, "Well, I was well, talking to this girl. I really it. like this shorty, or whatever you <coughs> calling us. Like, I really like this girl. I was trying hard this girl, but she didn't even want me. So she wrong. No, I she's mean, not wrong. She just didn't want you." You see what I'm talking about? You should be able to go up to somebody you like and at least give them. Not, not even a sign, just let them know, like, yo, I'm a little interested. If you interested too, cool. If not, keep it pushing, move on. That's just how it go. So, there you go. And I'm just a secret. Next. The next okay. question is your significant other versus your parent. Who comes first? Ooh, okay. I'm going to go first on this one. Go. No, neither comes first. They both are top priority. Here's my thing. <coughs> Sorry. If I have a girlfriend, right, she got to understand that she'll never be put above my mother. Mm -hmm. You'll be on the same level as her, mm -hmm. but she'll never be like, you'll never be above. Because here's the, the mom. No, never. Like, the way I see it, we've been together, let's just say we've been together five years, long time, mm -hmm. right? You were very special in my life. The love we have for each other is different. But she's been there since day one. Mm -hmm. Since before day one. Mm -hmm. And she like, well, I don't know how everybody relationship with their mothers is, but for me, mm -hmm. she gonna continue to be there. So why would I put this girl who I've known in a different way for five years over the person who's raised me and continues to give me guidance like throughout life to the day she dies? I mean, I feel like I'm not putting no guy above my dad just right. because, like, I'm not. But I also feel like, I mean, if my dad, because my dad kind of smart, and you may not catch the slings that he throwing, but if I catch him, I'm going to be like, dad. And if I catch you doing something, I'm going to be like, bruh. Right, like, you got to check. Like, like you just got to, yeah. If like, it's a level of disrespect amongst either party, you got to check them depending on the relationship. Like, if it's a girl, I won't, I'm only known for, like, six months. And she disrespect my mama. You gotta go. Pans because like it's the difference between you sitting up here cursing out my dad. Cause then oh, yeah, how no, I'm gonna bring no, you no. around my dad again? Like yeah, it's not no, gonna like, happen. Like that. That's that's. Yes, right. But like, like if, even if it's like a regular disagreement or something, like y'all don't agree on something, like y'all both can like just chill out, be grown, come yeah. to understand it, move on. But like as far as like cussing out, I can tell my mom like you're not gonna cuss out with like my wife, my girl, nothing like that. Yeah. Like you just got you gotta put your foot down. No matter yeah. who it is. And like if it's later in life and y'all married or something like that, like I do feel like, yeah, your mama may tell you something, but it's just like you gotta keep your home happy. Right. That's yeah. just how I feel. Right. The next question is Is it considered cheating if you like chilling with someone 
and they thinking about somebody else. It's not. It's not. It's disres It's low key disrespectful, but it's not. That's my whole stance on it. I don't really feel like it's cheating, but I feel like it's disrespectful. But I do feel like I would leave you if you're being disrespectful. But see, that's the if you go yo because it's a difference like it's okay let me say this it's a difference between how you thinking about somebody like if you find somebody else attractive okay like you gonna find other people attractive but if you sitting here and laying with me and you thinking oh if i ever have the chance oh i'm leaving you like it's like deuces okay that's... not even famous people like even if it's somebody on instagram like and you just scrolling you like oh i'll leave my girl this girl popped up in my city okay but that's you gotta like, go that's, that's that's saying you like are planning on cheating somebody like we talking about just straight up like you laying See, in the bed next to you like i feel like that's different no but, but like let's just, okay let's use this example you laying in your bed next to your boyfriend and you thinking about michael b jordan <laughs> Why is y'all example? Because that's all y'all be talking about is that man Michael B. Jordan. Oh, he's so far. He looked basic too. He looked like a regular everyday nigga. I mean, I like regular everyday niggas. But some of y'all be like, uh, that nigga bummy, that nigga this, that nigga that. But then you see Michael B. Jordan, like, oh my god, he's so fine. He looked like the last dude. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's the type of people that I don't like. I don't like the type of people that would just leave somebody. Just because the next person has some kind of clout or they have some kind of following or they a movie star or this or that. Because then I just feel like you're not real and you're just an opportunist. You're just playing both sides of the fence. Here. I've been that dude who, you know, you like you laying up to somebody and laying at somebody. And then you just thinking about, like, you might be thinking about somebody else. Like, you can't be thinking about Patricia from your class. Like, I that's ain't. not. But no. Patricia got a fat ass. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Cause if I was saying if I was thinking about John from my class, you would leave me. As long as I don't do nothing with Patricia, we good. No. And as long as you don't do nothing with John, if you I got the chance, if you got the, if you get the, okay, if you had the chance and you would talk to Patricia while we dating. But see, I, I'm not saying go. I would do that. That's not necessarily saying you would do that. Like I could say like, yo, if I wasn't with Low, Patricia could get it right now. You, I'm telling you, you can say that. You can definitely say don't that. say that around me. Just don't say it around me. You can't if say you nothing say it around me. You can't say nothing around me. I feel around. like you. If I, I just don't want to hear it. Even a famous person, like I talk about this with my boyfriend all the time. Like he likes SZA. You could like SZA. SZA's don't fat. talk about SZA being just so fucking fine around me. I don't want to hear it. I'm sorry. She you could say me. that she fine. Okay, leave it at that. You don't gotta go on no tangent about SZA. Like I just don't want to hear it. I'm not gonna go on the tangent about Michael B. Jordan around me. So, respect. On this question, guys, we got all these questions from our, uh, the, the Battle of the Sexes program on campus. Yeah, so we just giving all the little tape, but... Yeah, so... What is it? The last question is prenup versus no prenup. prenup. And I'm gonna let him finish. I'm gonna let prenup. him say it. Prenup, 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 all the way. Let me go ahead and kill some of the noise. Some people oh. probably sit here thinking, like, why would you want a prenup? You send yourself up for failure before you even start. No. I'm having a backup plan. See, people think that if you have a prenup, you still can't build together and grow together and all that. You can. It's just that in the case, which I don't hope happens at all, but in the case that we don't work no more, I have a way to say I get what I brought in. So, that's, that's what a prenup is. I feel like I'm no prenup, <coughs> but like I said, I don't know if they called it or not, but like I said, I do not feel like it's a deal breaker if somebody wants me to sign one because I plan on being financially stable myself mm -hmm. before I get married. Right. So, I mean, if you want to sign a prenup, that's cool, but like, you know, I don't want you whenever we... If we do have a divorce, I don't want you coming to me like, oh, I need help because you you wanted me to sign that prenup, so now you just got to go. Like, we can't yeah. help each other out. But yeah, like, like if it's, it's that point, you, you let it go. But And two, I feel like, you know, when you get married, like, I feel like you just, you can't <laughs> really just be thinking about yourself, but you got to think about both of y'all. But, okay, let me let me ask this too. Or not ask, but say this. I feel like prenups are for people, not prenups, but people who don't want prenups are like people who 
wanted to take care of. But um, I feel like just because y'all don't get a prenup doesn't mean no, that y'all but, can't just leave cleanly. But, like, but, I feel like I'm going to trust the person that I marry enough to be like, if we do divorce, like, I don't have to worry about you trying to treat me no nasty kind of way. But that's not always the case. Man. I also don't feel like you as a dude, because I feel like if I was a dude, and I know this is hard to believe because I'm a girl, but if I was a dude and I divorced from a girl, I don't want to see her out on the streets. Like, you know, I mean, I, I don't want to see you struggling and stuff. Like, you it know, it depends like, on what happens. And what, that's, what if, okay, you a dude and your, your girl out there, like, cheating on you? Like mm-hmm. Every man like cheating on you with whoever it's like you gonna wanna see her doing well in life? I mean, I'm not gonna wanna see her doing bad either. It's not like I'm be sitting here hoping like if it was a dude, like for whatever reason he cheating or whatever, and let's say he just didn't have as much money as me. I'm not about to just kick you out to the curb and just be like, Well, you homeless now, like what are you gonna I mean, do? Say like, that's like you homeless, know, like it's like, just I'm not going like I don't want to do nothing else for you because if we get a divorce, it's a reason for it. Like, but I feel like that first initial break, like I'm not leaving you to hang to dry. Now after that, that's it. That's all the questions that we had. Yep. Follow. What's your social media handles? You don't want to be on social media like that. Uh, he really don't. I don't. I'm, I'm low. I'm low key laid back. I don't be on that. But uh, at sci-fi degree, S I F I underscore. T H E underscore great Instagram. I'm gonna put it on the screen in the yeah, description. Box. Uh no Twitter, sorry about that. Snap. No sci fi two four four two. Look, don't no don't, don't start with me. We, we but y'all yeah, thank y'all for watching. Hopefully we can get the whole game together and do a video like this. Ooh, it was so know. hard for to do this video. Like y'all don't know how long we've been planning to do a video together. It, it wasn't me. No. It wasn't me. It wasn't no. it was, me. It, it definitely was you. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. All right. See you next time. Holla at you.